What's cracking, world? Welcome to another episode of the Zoscast podcast. And this time around, we are doing, a, I guess, a special. So this is the, the Miss Mariana's edition. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm talking to people and getting conversations from the contestants of this year's uh, Miss Mariana's. Um, yeah, so my first guest, contestant number one, Miss... Say your name again? Julian Belletto. Belletto. Yeah. There you go. All right. See, I'm already <laughs> fucking up. It's Julian Belletto. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so ne- next time around, I, I got to bring a crowd over here just to kind of hype yeah. things up, you know? Kind of kill the awkwardness, I yeah. guess, or the nervousness. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not, okay. I'm not awkward. <laughs> You're not? Okay. All right. Cool. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk. Um, How's your day been going so, so far? Tiring. Tiring. Yeah. yeah. We woke up. Had to go to DFS, did our yes. makeup, and we're right here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Is that um, is that kind of how your days have been going here on out since uh, joining pageant. the pageant? Yeah. Have you been busier? Yeah. Managing your time and all yeah. that. Yeah. Mine, cause I work, so mm-hmm. I work from Mondays to Saturdays. I usually cho- get to choose like one day off, but mm-hmm. when I t- when I choose that day off, I have to do something for the pageant. So it's basically like I don't have any days off. Damn, I see, yeah. I see. Okay. So yeah, so it's just almost like another job then. Yeah, huh? yeah. it kind of is actually. It kind of is, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, um, are they pretty strict too? Um, as stellar with keeping up with uh, your schedule. Well, no, not at all. Okay. Yeah, they're. I just basically try to work my, um, the schedule like with my work schedule. Mm-hmm. I try to just like if I have an event, I'll take off that day. I see. So I just try to be there all the time. Okay, yeah. cool. And um, where do you work, if you don't mind me asking? I work at IT&E. it yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you a customer service rep? Well, I am an accounting support specialist for the customer service. I used to be an, uh, a customer service rep and mm-hmm. then just worked my way up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, damn. That's what's up. <laughs> so this whole pageantry thing. So when did it start, all that stuff? Like, were you, is this something that you were planning since you were in elementary school? Or is it just something that kind of popped up? saw an opportunity you just took it well I've always thought about joining Mm -hmm. I just never had um I was just never confident I say you could say that yeah like I was always so insecure um Hmm. but I've always wanted to actually Mm -hmm. and I've always imagined myself like wearing you know like being Miss Mariana yeah yeah but I've never really had the guts to mm-hmm. until someone you know people would tell me and stuff like that. I'm like really <laughs> I don't think so but like you know like I thought about it I was like because I'm about to turn 24 and there's an age limit okay yeah so I was thinking about it I was like you know not everybody gets to go through something like yes, this definitely. yeah and why not mm-hmm. right what, what would you say was was that turning point of like flipping that switch was it because you're running out of time or did someone say the right words Basically, it's just like I came to a real like a realization that my life mm-hmm. has its purpose, and you know it's it's a matter of finding out what that purpose is, mm-hmm. and when all of these opportunities are like given to you, like take it, mm-hmm. you know, and you never know unless you try. Yeah, you definitely. Try it out. Yeah. yeah, and and if anything, if it doesn't, you know, I've always said like if it doesn't pan out yeah. like you thought it was then the positive thinking on that is you just cancel out. Yeah. You just cancel out something that doesn't work. So now yeah. move on from there. Yeah. Damn, that's cool. That's cool. You know, you were saying that you were thinking about this a lot. But was it like way, way back? Or was it just in your high school days? No, it was way back. Way back, okay. In elementary, actually, I joined um, a pageant. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you <laughs> For, can have somewhat experience. Yeah. yeah. But it was more of like selling tickets. You know? Oh, okay. One of so those. Okay. it's like, yeah, so it was kind of. I didn't really sell a lot, I guess. Oh, okay, I see what <laughs> you But, you know, saying. like, yeah. I always told myself, I was like, one day I'm going to join the pageant. Like, uh-huh. I'm going to join the pageant, and I'm going to give it all. Like, give my all, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, so, damn, so did you get bitten by the bug at that time? Like, were you doing pageants on a regular, or was it just that no, one early No, it was on? just that one time. Like, oh, okay, and then fast forward to now. Yeah, fast okay. forward. That, that was, like, when I was sixth grade. Oh, okay, yeah. shoot. Yeah, do, do, I is that, like, was it a... Liberation? No, no, it was oh, okay. like a Miss Mallard. I don't know, like Arapahoe School. Oh, yeah, okay. so you know, I see. Yeah, so just okay. <laughs> Which is like okay. within my school, it's not like a mm. legit pageant, but I guess mm. like you know they wanted to fundraise and something. Yeah. So I, I don't even mind. 
I just joined and then I was like, this is, I kind of want to do something more than just sell tickets, you know? Mm -hmm. But like more of like, I would watch on, you know, like Miss Universe and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So growing up, I would, and most of my friends were like so interested in like, you know, Miss, um, Miss Universe and like, I was like, maybe I should try it out, but then. I don't know, there's just always, like, something that pulls me back, and I guess oh. that was, like, you know, me being insecure. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. well, man, well, it's cool now, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing now you're happy that yeah. those didn't hold you back. Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice, and, uh, you know, the, um, I, you mentioned Miss Universe, um, I don't know why, I, I thought that, um, this pageant was gonna send whoever won to Miss Universe, but it's just Miss International. Well, I believe, I think. Correct on that? Or I are think, they're working on Miss? I think they're working on it. Miss Universe, yeah, okay. Yeah, they're trying to work on yeah, it. Damn, yeah, damn, hopefully soon, man, because that would be right? so cool. Yeah, that like, <laughs> man, just, you know, regardless on whatever it is, but just to see someone representing yeah, CNMI, you know, out there, yeah. uh, you know, national television and everything, you know, yeah. that would be cool. Damn, nice, nice. Yeah. So was there any particular person that you were looking up to as far as pageantry? Like, did you... Like, did you watch it one day and then, like, Miss, I don't know, Miss China win, and yeah. that's what inspired you? Any any moments like that? Well, I would watch, honestly, mm -hmm. and I, I would compare, like, their answers. And what I notice is, like, you know, the people that win are very genuine, and they just try to be themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's definitely. more of, like, what they're trying to, you know, give out to, you know, like, to the to the people, like, what if their message is genuine and you know a lot of people always told me you know Juno like I feel like I could be having a bad day mm -hmm. but when I come to you and I talk to you like it just switches everything out okay. and honestly it makes me feel great like mm -hmm. you know like holy god I'm actually doing something yeah yeah it's mm -hmm. kind of crazy because like at my work I'm an accounting support specialist but I feel like I'm a counselor <laughs> oh okay is that what it is dude there? everybody like literally comes to my office whenever they're having a bad day and they're just mm -hmm. like Juno you need to just tell me something just <laughs> tell me a quote or whatever you know like yeah, make yeah. me feel good and I'm like yeah so like nice is, is that something you're um counseling is that something you're curious about honestly is, yeah you like yeah I, I don't know it's so weird because I when t I was taking college, I'm a, I'm actually a criminal justice major. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice, I nice. initially wanted to be like an FBI, join the police force. Nice. Yeah. But, oh, that's hella cool. But like, um, I was just thinking about it, and I'm like, maybe later on, because you know, if you get into the force, you kind of get the the bad schedule. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, know, you yeah, gotta yeah, work at night, and I'm like, mm. maybe I don't think I'm fit for that yet. Yeah. So I went to ITNE, mm. not you know, the the pay is not bad at all. So I enjoy what I do. More of like whatever I put my, you know, like whatever I put my mind into, mm -hmm. I'm able to adapt and like, you know. Just nice, like, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's hella cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, so, you know, you talk about your work a lot. How were they, um, how were they before and now when, it, when you spoke about the pageant? Like, were they encouraging you and then, you know, yeah. saying, are they supporting you now or was it something like, were you here? Were you still getting those doubts? Man, honestly, they're oh, they're my main supporters. Oh no <laughs> shit! Your coworkers? Oh okay. All right. I'll or spend. not? Not? I mean, like, yeah, they are. Like, honestly, they help me a lot because you know, work is like your second home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, so yes. you go there and you see your coworkers, and they're like your second family. Mm -hmm. So they definitely. cheer you on, and they definitely. I have you know, they definitely tell me. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? Oh, okay. And that's nice. the people that you actually need to surround yourself with. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like people who tell you your mistakes so you can learn from it. Yes. And definitely. you can do better. So, like, they definitely support me, like, 100%. Nice. And it feels so great. <laughs> nice, <Yeah>. nice. Oh, <laughs> that's hella cool, man. Yeah. You should ask them to, to sponsor you. Right? <laughs> yeah. Get a phone or something, you know, start taking your own pictures. <laughs> Damn, that's hella cool, man. Yeah. That, that's what's up. Um, do you feel... Uh, you feel the same way with your family and the support that they're... Yeah. 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 Do you have a pretty big family? Not really. Not really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Actually, it's just my parents and my brother. Well, my parents are from the Philippines. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, I was born and raised here, so we don't have much family. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so, but, like, the support that I'm getting from both my parents, you know, even if they're not able to financially support me mm -hmm. with the whole pageant and stuff, they're, they're there to, like, cheer me on. Nice, yeah. nice. Did it have to take any convincing to, uh, 
Well, I guess the decision was yours, but yeah. did, did anyone have any negative thoughts when you with me joining the pageant? Yeah. Did they have any re reservations on anything like why you should or shouldn't? Well, more of like, I guess they would tell you, are, I mean, like they would tell me, are you leaving to join? You know, because mm. they saw it more of like they think that actually, because I'm I'm full Filipino, you okay. know, and people would be like. Do you even think you you can because you're not tomorrow, right? You're not Caribbean. Oh, and stuff like that. Yeah, man, yeah. I just gave me goosebumps yeah, yeah, yeah. just like that. <laughs> oh man. Okay. No, and I'm just like you know I uh -huh. thought about it too, and I was like that's also one of the reasons why I held back with like joining before mm. because you know like wow. growing up you there's just a lot of um how do you say that like racism you know like yeah. going through school like don't get me mm. wrong you know like and I've been bullied before. Oh, like, from my shit. race and stuff like that. But, you know, it's all right. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I'm cool and stuff like that. But, like... Uh-huh. You, you know, I, I can't... Let me see. I don't want to open up a can I can't close. Yeah. But, um... You're right, though. Yeah. You know, it it is... And especially at certain ages, you know, like, yeah. I don't think kids necessarily uh, think yeah. before they say something. Yeah. You know, um... It, it's so crazy how things are coming full circle, though. You know, you've been bullied uh, yeah. throughout grade school. And then now you're you're doing something that's benefiting people. Yeah. And on top of that, like stories like this, you can share. You know. Yeah. Um. I, you know, countless stories on, on people that have been bullied. That's where they shut down. Yeah. You know, they feel for some reason. Okay, I'm not judging, but for some reason they feel like that's it. Yeah. yeah. But it's kind of cool that now with this platform that you have, you know, you could maybe switch their minds a little bit. Yeah. You know, just change it up. Yeah. But um. You, and, and thank you for sharing that. Yeah, you know, yeah that's something <laughs> I'm that sorry, you, I feel like I'm a little too open right now. Yeah, no, no, no. And, and it's very cool. And, yeah. and, and you know, honestly, like like we spoke off air about, like, th this is kind of what I want to capture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the real person. Like, you know, um, I think Stellar does a very good job with um, us knowing who the contestants are yeah. uh, with that platform and, and just the build up, you know. Um, what I would like to do here is exactly what's going on. You know, your personalities come out, the stories yeah. are coming out. So definitely thank you for that. Um, okay. you know, and yeah, you know, bullying sucks all across the board, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, uh, what is good though, um, the positive that comes out of your story yeah. is again, you're here now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So now you could speak on it and everything and it was very inspiring as well. You know, who Thank knows you. there might be a Filipino kid or even yeah. Chinese or whatever race yeah. that doesn't feel like they belong. That's getting bullied and nothing's, you know, getting done with yeah. it. You, you might be that voice that speaks to them. Like, look, uh -huh. You, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, true. like, you know, and, and, and you know, so uh, again, I just want to thank you again for sharing that because this is definitely what I wanted, you know. Yeah. But um, damn, that's cool. So you broke through all of that as well, yeah. just to get yeah. Well, it wasn't really that bad, you know, because I would always fight back. Oh. Okay. I wouldn't let anybody. Oh, you know, okay. There yeah, you, go. you know, yeah. like, no, <laughs> I'm from here, you know, like yeah, I yeah. was born here. Definitely. Nobody can freaking tell me. Yeah, you, you know, me. I, I grew up in the 90s, you know, I'm an old man, but um, we have a couple of Korean kids yeah. that grew up in our school system. Yeah. And yeah, man, every time, like, someone who doesn't know them yeah. think they don't belong, we try and correct that. Like, nah, this fool has been around, you know, for yeah. how many years now, so maybe yeah. the same boat. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, you know, but that's good. We kind of veered off, but it, it, yeah. it's good, you know, that we're, we're talking about this, so long as you're comfortable with yeah. it, you know, so... Anyway, so yeah, that's cool. So you got support from your work, support from your family. All this is going on. Um, up until this point, has uh, anything in your life changed, um, like drastically? Um, like, my guess would be people will kind of recognize you a little more. Yeah. Uh, not just with the pageantry, <laughs> but all the modeling yeah. that you've been doing. Uh, anything on that level that has anything else that has changed? Like, I guess different treatment, uh, friends that you, cousins that you didn't know you had, or anything like that that has come about. Anything that sticks out. No. No, nothing. Okay. I've always been, I've always been so outgoing. Mm -hmm. I like hanging out with you know like different cliques. So oh, okay. I guess nothing really changed. I guess the reason why I didn't change is because of how I am. You oh, know, okay, I just gotcha. I tried to stay who I am. Like mm -hmm. you Keep know, nothing. Small. Yeah, nothing changed about me. So I guess that's the reason why people's views about me and how they changed. treat. Yeah, they treat me. They still treat me the same, and okay. I love it. It's yeah, such a yeah. great feeling because it doesn't feel like you know, like I'm no different. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, so this whole modeling thing, I, I swear, I, I feel like I see you more without even trying. <laughs> yeah. I feel like your pictures pop up more. Yeah. Um, is that uh, 
did it, was that happening before the pageant? No, you know. Oh, so you have been modeling. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I mean, I've never modeled. Oh, in my okay. Life Until before. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. And these opportunities came about uh, through Stellar or did? Well, I always wanted to before, but like I said, mm. you know, I was always so insecure. Mm. So when I joined, like when I joined the pageant or when I decided to join the pageant, I was like, I gotta get, you know, like I gotta get in my comfort zone, like trying mm. to, try to like start modeling, you know, being yeah. comfortable and like at least take pictures more so people could actually like see me mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So. I wanted to work with, like, you know, like, different photographers, more of, like, just, you know, like, trying to practice being, I don't know how you say it, but, yeah, no, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I'm following what you're talking about, yeah, so, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I get it, I yeah. get it, just, you just kind of put, trying to put more of yourself out there, so every opportunity that yeah. comes about, that's what you're gonna and grab. And more of, like, just making me feel comfortable. With it, yeah. Because I'm about to go to a stage on, like, you know, like, with a bikini and if I can't be confident you yeah, know yeah. <laughs> what am I gonna look like I'm gonna look like a stick just walking like yeah yeah <laughs> oh damn okay. so you know you just try and be confident right now just mm -hmm. trying to like be myself I guess yeah definitely and yeah. do you, you feel pretty comfortable uh taking those I, pictures and confident some like right now I'm getting the feel of it yeah. but definitely at first I was super awkward yeah. like yeah or basically yeah. what I'm trying to say are you breaking away from all the insecurities yeah. that you had do you feel yourself doing that honestly this pageant is the best thing that's ever happened. Oh shit! Nice. Oh, it's gonna make me tear. Oh, okay. Oh no, I'm sorry about that, bro. No. Mix. I think there's some tissue going in the bathroom. No, 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 you got no, 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 no. It's oh, okay. fine. You sure? Yeah. It's okay. Fine. No, I didn't mean to do all this, but no, you, you know, no. you know, if anything, you know, if it, if it serves any justice, like definitely, what I like about all this is that it does show your passion for it. You know, you or it does show that you're passionate about it, and you know. Uh, for a lot of people, like we spoke of before, it's just really bringing out your personality. At least for the viewers or the people listening, like they know that this is what it takes, you know, to get to this point, you know. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. no, 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 it's okay. It's, it's, it's perfectly <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Take some time. Take some time. You know, um, just all, all this. From what you're telling me, like, uh, you know, building up towards joining the pageant. You know, if I knew that story and listened to it by itself, and then seen your pictures now. And all the modeling that you've done, I would think that it's a completely different person, man. So yeah. if that's the direction you want to go, man, you're doing a very good job at it. And especially now too, with uh, you know you bringing up your, your past and how um, that's probably where all the insecurities came from as yeah. well. So you know, <laughs> just making me so moved. yeah, yeah, no, it, it's perfectly <laughs> fine. You know, um, like I said, it, it brings out the human in yeah. us. You know, and and it, it's such a beauty to see just people being very passionate about a certain thing to yeah. where you know you can only. It's like you can't control yeah. the emotions, yeah. you know. <laughs> you're, good. you're good. You're good. You're good. No, the only reason why I say like it's the best thing that's ever happened in my life is mm -hmm. because it made me accept who I am, like mm -hmm. my flaws in and out. You know, mm -hmm. it made me comfortable. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Before I was so insecure of myself. Literally, I would. I'm just gonna be open right now. Like, yeah, before, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. I would freaking um, like you know, like starve myself because I didn't really like. Like how, you know, like how I looked like. I would starve oh, myself. Yeah, dang. and I was taking diet pills. Like, I was taking diet pills, starving myself. And I got really sick. I got oh, really man. sick. And, yeah, I got sick. And I went through, like, two surgeries. Because of that, being insecure and hating myself. Wow. And after that, like, you know, like, after that, I told myself that I'm going to do something. Like, I'm going to, I was given a second, you know, like, I feel like it's a second my second life, so, like, uh -huh. yeah, so, like, mm -hmm. I want to do something that's, you know, like, that, I just know that there's a reason why, like, you know, I went through whole, that whole thing. All that, yeah. Yeah, and, and this is, and look at me now, like, I was so insecure before, I went through yeah. all of that, and I'm joining a pageant. Yeah, yeah, definitely, That's yeah. pretty amazing, like. <laughs> yeah, no, and I, and I feel yeah. you on that, I definitely agree with you, you know, yeah. uh, again, just, just looking at all of it now, um. I, you know, what I always like to think about um, is everything that happened before, you know, in my life, yeah. a negative or positive, you know, kind of brought me to where I'm at now. So I evaluate the now, you know, yeah. am I happy now? Because if I am, then everything that happened in the past has to be part of my story. Yeah. 
it's almost the same way with you. Do you feel happy now with what's yeah, going on? Same. Yeah. So then, like what you just touched on, maybe all of that had to happen yeah. in order for you to to really grasp at this satisfaction, you know, yeah. and what you're obviously pretty passionate about. So, yeah, yeah. which is cool, man. Like, man, I, I love this so much because, <laughs> you know, from the jump when I was talking to you, yeah. you know, to to you and the other girls, you know, like that's what I really want to bring out, you know, like we're all humans. Um, what people tend to do, like, let's just say you win this pageant and then you end up winning this universe. Yeah. What people tend to do is they find an excuse for themselves on why they're not doing it. They're going to keep saying, oh, because she's beautiful, because she's this, because she's that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're not taking that. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not making an excuse for yourself. You have every excuse. Uh, just off of what you just told me, there, there's like 10 excuses you had to not join this pageant. But then you're here now, you know? And we could end this right now, and I could promise you that this conversation is going to be very inspirational for a lot of kids. Um, everyone that is being bullied or has insecurities yeah. can now listen to this. You know, if they have some small curiosity of what the pageant, you know, what pageantry yeah. is or, you know, this story can really, really settle well in their minds and maybe even push them forward and break through all the boundaries that you have broken through. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, and I'm saying all this, I, I just want to get you back to your comfort level. Like, I feel better now because, yeah. you're, you know, you're getting emotional in front of me. So it just shows that you're pretty comfortable. And I appreciate yeah. that. So and I'm pretty sure the listeners will as well. well yeah. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let, let, let's try and let's yeah. try and go another direction here. So, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to be asking uh, all the contestants uh, some of these questions. So, um, again, it's a Sunday that you're, you're kicking back with us uh, doing this podcast but what would a perfect sunday be for you like walk walk me through that what's a perfect sunday definitely being at the beach yeah that's 100 percent. no matter what yeah just be at the beach Mm. honestly i could just lay there oh okay yeah you know like listen to music yeah you know it's like it suits me yes you know it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Right? and I always feel with, yeah. with music itself, like it could really, yeah. you know, for good and bad, it could really change the mood on yeah. things, you know. So, definitely. Do, do you um, usually when you go to the beach, is it just by yourself? Do you go with family? I go with friends. I, I go with like family and friends. Okay, yeah. you guys just kind of chill there for the whole day. Yeah, I just chill there. Just nice. Relax. Is that what you would be doing if you weren't here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, well, thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah. I'm That's actually going to walk across after this. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we go off to um, the for the modeling stuff, yeah. you've only done it for uh, everything that's connected with Stellar? Nothing no. on your personal? Or, yes, you have? Per- more of, like, I believe with the personal. Yeah, that you, or have you modeled yeah. for another company other than uh, Tribes? Uh, actually, no, no, no. no okay, so I just... Haven't. Yeah. Just tribes for now and then. Just tribes for now. Okay. And then that video that we can't seem to find. That was that under tribes as well? Yeah, that right? was okay. under tribes, yeah. <laughs> you find that one meeks? No. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Cause man, there was something about that that really caught my attention. I don't know if I'm talking about this the right one, but um yeah, it was like it really caught my attention. Like, oh shit, this actually kinda worked. I might actually buy whatever she's advertising. <laughs> but um that's cool, that's cool. I think it's in there, right there. Up top. Oh, okay, there you go. Is this the one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, the internet's not not at its greatest. Damn, okay, how is it it doing all this? So this is all your first time as well? Yeah, that was my first time. Wow. Like, oh, dude, that's crazy, man. Got you laying down and everything. How how was this? Like, how did this feel to you? It was something new, definitely, but, Mm -hmm. you know, they made it so comfortable for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Benton and Musa really did a good job with me yeah. feeling comfortable. Yeah. And they're, um, I'm guessing they're walking you through all these. Yeah, they well, were. They all were these positions me. and yeah. locations. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. How long did this shoot take? About, we were there at 8. We finished at 11. Like two, two hours. Oh, yeah. okay. Nice, nice. All in one day? Yeah, all yeah. in one day. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. It was a good, it was a good experience. <laughs> there you go, yeah. smiling. <laughs> Do you, um, do you have anything uh, lined up as far as uh, modeling, anything scheduled to be doing well, later on? 
Not right now. Not right now. Yeah, I guess since the pageant is almost up, that's the only thing that we're really focusing on right mm, now. Okay, you guys yeah, are kind of tunnel vision. It's on June 15th. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, before I forget. Yeah. Yes, it's on June 15th, so make sure you got your ticket. Yeah, so. uh, uh, Fiesta, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, Fiesta. Okay. Cool, yeah, man, and I heard it's sold out. Is that? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, okay, because even, um, yeah, man. I didn't realize it was going to sell out that quick. I heard it was like a day. Yeah, and, uh, it yeah, was. It was, yeah, yeah. See, and then Gian, Gian's trying to help me get some tickets. So, um, But I think I think we got it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, if we do got it, I'm going to go with my uh, yeah. goddaughter to check it out. You yeah. should. Small, again, very small curiosity towards it. So hopefully yeah. this will, you know, we'll see. Yeah. Um, you know, the, uh, I know that this is, uh, they took out the talent section. Yeah, they this did. competition. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be asking everyone this, but if there was still one, what what would your talent be that you bring forth? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> nothing, no, nothing out the gate. No. In all honesty, I can't dance. Okay. And I can't really sing. <laughs> okay, there has to be something though. Like, yeah, what's a hobby? Like, like, what do you love doing? Well, is cooking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe if they're like, if there's a talent, I'll just bring my stove and my skillet and, <laughs> yeah. and pop some. <laughs> hey, cook it up good enough and try right? to persuade like, the judges a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn, so you like to cook then? I like to cook, yeah. Yeah. Is, are you more of like the instructions and, and, and no, uh, ingredients or no, you just kind of no. play by ear? Eyeball. Or eyeball. Okay. okay. Or like, eyeball. So I'm like, like, <laughs> like, I don't know if that's a yeah, saying, yeah, no. but you know, like, I just usually... I know how each, you know, spices taste like, so I know what, mm. you know, what lacks and stuff like that. I don't do measurements. I see. So yeah, I pour just, here, pour there. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then, you know, if, if you did win, what would you use this platform for? Mm -hmm. One. And what would it mean to you? So. Yeah. Honestly, and you can get in depth yeah. in both of them as well. If I were to win, mm -hmm. I am a... I'm a firm believer that whatever is in your mind creates your reality. Okay. Basically. So whatever whatever is in your mind, you know, mm. you create it to rea reality. And if I do win, I want to send out that message to everybody. And even if I don't win, honestly, because mm -hmm. it helped me. It mm -hmm. helped me overcome my fears. Have you heard of the laws of attraction? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of it. I'm not 100% familiar, but yeah. feel free to enlighten me. Yeah, so I base my life out of the laws of attraction. Mm -hmm. So basically, like you attract positivity. Positive, yeah, and basically understand, uh, understanding and being able to, you know, like control your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And it sounds a little crazy, but... <laughs> no, 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 it's cool. It's but, you know, it really right helped path. me. It really mm -hmm. helped me, and, you know, it's something that I want to, like, tell people about mm -hmm. because it helped me, and yeah. I use it to, like, help people feel better about themselves. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just recently there was a rise on, you know, suicide with, with schools. And I was actually talking to a couple of, like, you know, counselors and stuff like that. And they were telling me, like, you know, students are, like, cutting themselves. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it makes me sad because mm -hmm. the students are actually our future, you know. And yeah. if, we, if we could just, like, reach out to them and talk to them. Mm -hmm. Let them know that, you know, you're still young. Yeah. You need to start, you know, think positive. Yes, definitely. Yeah, think positive. And so that when, you know, if we're there and we, you know, feed off that positive, you know, energy and, like, help them, then they can start thinking of who they can be in the future and start thinking of great things. Yeah, yeah. And definitely. that eventually creates the reality, their mm -hmm. future. And, you know, it's, it's something that's, that like I think everybody should know about because mm -hmm. it really did help me. I see, and yeah. and okay, and you're talking about the pageant in general. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. talking about like honestly, like I'm talking about like <laughs> I'm talking about like the laws of attraction. Oh, in okay. General. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. okay like okay. you know, being positive, mm -hmm. and I don't know how you say. It. So basically, what the laws of attraction is is whatever you think in your mind mm -hmm. creates your reality. So if you notice. Have you ever, like, have you ever been, like, oh, shucks, I'm so late, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you're driving and you're, like, I have to get there, I have to get there. And then you come into traffic mm -hmm. or somebody starts crossing the road or, like, there was an kind accident. Stalls you. Yeah, because yeah, you're thinking of something that you don't like and then it ends up happening. Oh, have you ever okay. tried? 
Yeah, I'm, I, I guess I could, yeah, I guess I could say there's some things like that yeah. where, um, yeah. Or have you ever tried like craving for something and then somebody just ends up giving it to you? Or mm, not really? Not, not really. I'm, okay. But I, no, but um. <laughs> not that, not yeah. that like you're, you know, like you could be craving for something or you could be thinking of somebody. Mm-hmm. Like really thinking of somebody and then they just message you or you just see that person okay, out of yes. nowhere. Yeah, where it's like, uh, yeah. Like, yeah, okay, that's I get what more you're of like, you know, so I don't know. There's actually a, a couple of successful people that use the laws of attraction like Oprah. She uses, she uses it in her shows a lot, you know. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. Well, shit, I really got to look Man, into honestly, that then. You, <laughs> yes, yeah. you, you should. Like, yeah. Honestly, it'll help you. Like, I don't know if you'll be like skeptical about it, but mm. you know, like it really helped me a lot. Yeah. I was very, like, I was such a negative person before. Like, I was always so conscious about what people thought about me. Mm-hmm. And, like, if I actually had a meaning in my life, you know? Yeah. When I started reading that, you know, when I started learning about it, I was like, man, everybody has a reason why they were born. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I remember hearing a quote. Um, I said this on one of my other podcasts. But the two most important dates in someone's life. You ever heard that quote? But it's the day they were born and the day they find out why. And I think yeah. that's along the same lines of what yes. you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, what, what's crazy is that I always look at it, too, as, um, you know, got to try everything out at least once. And yeah. I feel like you're on the same, yeah. on that same path. You know, at least try one time so you at least know what's good and bad, what's fun, yeah. what's not. You know, what, what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable yeah. with, you know. So, definitely. Yeah. I guess I have, yeah, I guess I've been... I guess practicing it maybe a little, just not really knowing what <laughs> no, it is. But actually, it's yeah. People don't even know that they've been practicing it, and then is when they okay? start, when they start to read the book, they're like, mm, you know, I've yeah. actually been doing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. I don't know if it's fall. We might be veering off, but yeah. it. But um, because even with this podcast thing, like uh, the people in my circle know that uh, I talk a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just dawned on me. I did a podcast with someone else, and then that's when I realized, like, oh shit this might be something that I could work on. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm talking already. Yeah. Might as well talk to help inspire or, or just yeah. assist someone. You know what I'm saying? So this is where I'm at now. Yeah. So maybe back to the laws of attraction. The dude that hit me up initially, like maybe that was the sign or, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. So like, you know, we just kind of bumped into each other sort of thing. Yeah. And then we did a podcast. I loved it. And it was fucking two hours, man. Yeah. So from there, I'm like, shit, I could definitely do this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, but okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. again, you see, man, I kind of felt that we were gonna veer off just talking to you beforehand. But um, yeah, definitely good conversation, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, is there anything else that you would like to uh, say that maybe cover that I didn't ask you about, or you didn't have time to segue into? Anything you want to put out there that you feel is important? No, it doesn't have to be anything. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. Like, here's the, I guess, the opportunity to. Yeah. Or if you want to, yeah. Honestly, basically, just don't be afraid. Okay. Yeah, like, don't be afraid of of chasing, you know, like, whatever you want to Mm -hmm. be in the future. Like, you basically, I don't know how you say it. Man, I have a lot of words, but like, yeah, it's just I don't not know coming how, out. Yeah, it's, it's not flowing coming, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess because you're making me a little too nervous. Oh, Emma, oh, okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to do all that, but I mean, like, I guess, you know, set your goals high. Mm-hmm. There's nothing is ever impossible. Definitely. Basically, mm-hmm. the only time that it's going to be impossible is if you tell yourself that it's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Your biggest critic would be yourself. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And then you know, from what you've yeah. been telling me. You know, I guess yeah. the proof is in the pudding, you know, yeah. like you're out here doing it throughout all the stuff that you spoke about. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah. So, uh, damn, man, that was, that was good. Pretty intense. But I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Though. I'm yeah, so yeah. sorry. I no, no, no. It's cool. You don't have to apologize for nothing. Um, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know. See, even Mix is back. Mix has been with me throughout all of yeah. these. So, um, definitely some good information. And I, I feel like this one would definitely help out a lot of folks. Um, with that said, I'm just going to give all my shout outs and then I'll, I'll give yes. the mic to you one last time and yeah. you could do what you want. Um, real quick again, or I'm sorry, real quick, huge shout out to Miss Gian Joyner Ravel for getting all this together and, um, you know, really educating me on the pageant and, and the show and everything and how it could help the community yeah. and most definitely how it could inspire others. Um, Stella Marianas, uh, Lila Boyer, uh, Ping Young Girl, right? Is that her name? Yeah. yeah. 
and uh, the whole, I guess, staff, like, staff and management, or just the whole staff, just everyone involved with Stellar Marianas for uh, putting something like this together and also um, giving me the opportunity to create conversation with the lovely contestants here. Um, <laughs> and to our silent sponsor who got us this place at Hyatt, thank you so, so much. You made everything a whole lot better. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to the band, Abruta Sinamai. We got jerseys for sale. That's why they're out here. Um, we're going on tour in September. And uh, yeah, any assistance would be greatly appreciated because we really need it. <laughs> but um, yeah, with the, without, yeah. So, yeah, go ahead. It's your turn now. <laughs> Grab the mic and just say, oh, sorry, I, I didn't know how to no, segue no, there. I don't know why I'm getting nervous again. Wow. Well, yeah. All right, she was going to keep my mom. Well, straight. I just want to say thank you for having us here. This oh, is yeah. actually a great experience. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, she, hey, sound bite. That's yeah. the number one sound bite right thank there. Thank you right? so yeah. much, honestly. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, especially with yours, yeah. uh, you know, so many, I, I know so many different people are going to, the demographics off of what we're doing right now is going to be crazy. I think it's yeah. going to hit from freaking elementary all the way up to 40, 50 yeah. years old. So, yeah, thank you. Um, do you want to plug any of your accounts or follow me this, follow me that, anything like that? Well, you guys can all follow me at my Instagram page. It's Juna Lindaletto. First name, last name. <laughs> yes. See, yeah. And, yeah, and I'm going to remember this name because I yes. fucked it up the first time. All right. Yeah. Junalyn Valletto. Okay. Yes. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's basically it. <laughs> oh, that's it? Okay, no Snapchat? Or... I thought I thought the youngest nowadays, I won't Man, say kids. honestly, but... I haven't been on Snapchat. Like, no, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm still trying to figure yeah. out fucking Twitter right yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? And Twitter. Like, I'm just like, oh, yes. Yeah. All I ever retweet is like, stuff about like the laws of attraction that's is just that, it. Yeah. if you go to my yeah if you go to my twitter page i'm just like yeah, i don't the, have time to think right now <laughs> yeah for you know because even with me the only time my twitter is used yeah. is when it's linked with ig yeah other than that i don't put out no tweets or nothing like yeah. that so okay but yeah thank you yeah, again thank very you. much really appreciate this experience and um I, I feel like we got a lot of content yeah um, thank you yeah we might be inviting everyone back again so hopefully Maybe we'll get your insight after. I'm looking after. forward to that. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. All right, well, thanks again, everyone, for tuning in, whether you're watching or just listening. Really appreciate it. And uh, we got more, more of the Miss Mariana's edition. So uh, until then, she shoots.